Well, 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 we are here at the final game of the night for Sample Text and Object of Depression. You saw Kieran, Scorpio guy playing Ace, Viceman playing uh, Claudette, and Certified Persona playing Fangman. And we have a Blight match. Lilith Omen coming out and bonking away, bonking the night away, so to speak. Takes one look at oh, his yeah. Ruin Totem, takes one look at his Ruin Totem, ends the chase early. Kieran is immediately on the hook. It looks like you have given him the Caster's Curse, Steve. I mean, I like I said, I just happen to notice things, and look what happens. First chase, Kieran on hook. Um, and uh, we recognize those add-ons from a game earlier. What add-ons are those again, D? Take us through it. That is those Alchemist Ring, which is the uh, hitting that survivor with a lethal rush will instantly recharge all rush tokens and then that blighted crow uh making them go zoom 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 every time they get a consecutive rush going so that in a sense also allows for a distance yeah we got a quick unhook on kieran and lil is back to work mm -hmm. back checking on the ruin time knowing that their only chance to survive essentially is to protect that ruin as long as possible we got corrupt intervention has been identified and now tinkerer has popped off on the right side so yep. now a lot of action happening here early with lil's omen with the bouncy cam. Agreed. And a quick mind game turns into a free M1 at the jungle. Only only thing I don't like about this chase, and I understand trying to tunnel out Kieran, is you're taking chase in your corrupt area. So you're not able to put pressure on gens that are actively being worked on right wow. now. Wow, so now we have an, is that, is that borrowed time? Or was that a, was that a stiff thing that we just saw? I believe uh, it is borrowed I time. I think it, yeah, and then do we see a decisive play here? We do see a decisive. There we go. I just don't know if Kieran was rocking a med kit. Uh, I'm thinking it was borrowed time. Could be, but a very making quick work of Kieran yet again. Borrowed time. Our DS is out of the picture. Kieran is going into that second hook state. Ruin is still alive, but with choosing to tunnel out Kieran on the second attempt, we do see multiple generators in front of and that is a lot of value that you're getting through this self toolbox. Lots of value. Kieran has yep. just, and Kieran's just like, oh, no. Yeah, I mean, what 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 more can you do? You already use your decisive. You're coming off hook. You know the killer knows you're coming off hook. Dead. Like, you. GG. And you I do feel I mean? like if the score is different there, I don't think Kieran lets go. I think at this point we, we heard it alluded to in the pregame chat. Yeah. But starving out points. Could be the most effective talent or the most effective tactic available, the meta, if you will. And that's exactly what Kieran has opted to do. Just starve out the points, exit the game. Um, teammates yeah, save your lead. Teammates continue to sit on gens, which is gonna score them the gen completion points. Do the best you yep. can in chase and just, you know, protect that lead. I mean, it's a, it's a strategy. If you got a lead, you gotta protect it. I mean it's a, it's equivalent to going to that prevent defense, you know, in football. You're up. You know, just make sure you don't let them score. Right. Again, it's not necessarily mathematically over, but you can effectively make it over through yeah. playing a defensive version of the game. And that's, you know, that's totally reasonable and totally... You do what you have to do to get through the playoffs, right? Do or die. Absolutely. Win or go home. So. You know, different tactics. Absolutely. That would have been a great flick. Uh, just a hair closer. Yeah. Sample Text chooses to uh, to win. Rather than go home. So quickly here, Lilith yep. Owen is going to take the pal, but that trade would for a hook state and certified persona is going to quickly be placed upon the hook by Lilith Elman. Uh, yep. It'll be interesting to see what they choose to do, the opt to do here. Tinker has proc, so we do have a way to go. Lilith does Your have survivors are a direction. The lion through gems, there it went. We saw Tinkerer proc, and before Lilith Omen could take a breath. Another pallet for slap trade. Scorpio is on the ground. A pallet is burned up. Persona is on the first hook state. Will there go? Will there be a save attempt? There is one. Riceman has made the save now. Does Lilith? No, I mean. Lilith opts to uh, chase the, the uninjured Riceman. Possibly end this chase super quick. And now we got two slugs with Persona running around bleeding everywhere. But, yeah. oh my oh, unbreakable play. Goodness. Scorpio says, not today, Satan. I'm on my feet. Not I'm today. Here. Yeah, I mean, smart play by the survivors. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that was a misplay by uh, Lilith. I just think that was a, a great play by the survivors. Having the right perks at the right time. Lilith is taking a look at the playing field now, trying to make their decision. Where am I going to invest my time? Where am I going to invest my energy? Scorpio guy is still injured while being, you know, 
very handsome in that ace cosmetic and Weissman giving that unhook and we see what well, we see we'll make it in the bottom right corner this is going to be a very quick reset if oh, oh, someone says no nope. no time i'm moving away yeah absolutely not yeah definitely uh trying to just you know prevent them from working on any more gens at this point absolutely uh you know I, I believe i saw ruin uh so you know putting that uh that effect on the survivors to keep them off so that way you can hopefully just put them all down yeah we just saw ruin not worry about that it. generator ruin has still been watching. early in the matchup omen identified the ruin oh. made it clear yeah. made it clear to certified persona that that they knew where the ruin was and so persona is going to go back on the hook here that will be a yeah. second hook for persona scorpio guy unhooked Kieran, the only survivor on Deathhook, and Vice with a single hook. So, I mean, again, if it wasn't do or die, if it wasn't, there wasn't desperation when it goes, that was a nice horizontal slide. Yeah, that was, that was, that was slick. But at this point, it kind of confused me for a second. <laughs> yeah, Tinker is going to proc. Omen does have a trajectory, and a oh. generator is completed. It's like look how fast that gen popped as soon as Tinker proc. You know, it feels like Insane. free rework. Free rework back when they added an extra 10% to Tinker, I believe, something like 10 or 15%. Tinker used to pop at, I want to say 80%, and now it's like 70%. I have to, I have to go to our stats. You would know better than me, so uh, in that regard. They definitely have increased the timer on Tinker, and still. Tinker pops, and before yeah. Omen can breathe, the generators are also popping. Yeah. Um. It looks like Scorpio might be giving the are giving up here. Yeah. Uh, that, I was like, whoa, what? What just happened? Right. <laughs> and the the casual nod from the blight. Yeah, everybody kind of uh, understanding. Has, uh... Everybody kind of understanding. A lot of veterans of Vigo's court here. Everybody kind of understanding what's going on with scoring right now, and understanding that this game Absolutely. is effectively over. And so rather than yep. drag it out, we just wrap it up, call it a day, and if you're uh, your sample tech, start preparing for Sunday. Yep, absolutely. I mean, right here you see a, a good faith chase, I think, just, uh, just uh, to, to give a little fun, I believe, you know, for the viewers at home. Right, 1v1. Let's see how long we can. 1v1. Yep, 1v1. That's it. Oof. Slaps the barrel. Unfortunately. The barrel tech. Too bad it's not a cow shed. Right? <laughs> oh, I I hate cow shed so much. Oh my lord. <laughs> but I mean, playing it well, taking a great chase. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it was a great match. It was a great time. I'm glad that we had the matches. I mean, I'm glad that we were here. I'm glad we were able to watch. It was very fun to stay close. The last matchup, there was a little bit of a pull away. And so, unfortunately, yep. this fourth match was basically just a uh, formality. There was a mathematical yeah. chance for, for Objective to win, but their backs were definitely against the wall. And so. All good. Mm -hmm. You see this chase play. Yeah, out. I mean, and if you see Lilith is opting to get the last hit with a, you know, uh, lethal rush opposed to just doing an M1, uh, I think just for show is what it's looking like to me. I mean, and fun. there it was. It's fun, and you know, and then if yes, if you're if you're yeah. if you're Lilith and your object, this is your last league game of the season. Uh, maybe get the last bit of the last bit of fun you can get out of the season and then start thinking about the tournament and start thinking about next season so excellently Absolutely. crafted excellently played i mean he, you know, he notches the 4k never really Do you see that backwards run that was pretty cool actually <laughs> very, very stylish very reminiscent of our, yeah. of our survivor moonwalking there. yeah i mean to me it, it has remnants of the uh the nurse backwards blink so pretty absolutely. cool to see absolutely yeah very cool to see so that's gonna do it we'll get the final score for you in a moment